From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Quite the great start here at Beaver Stadium, yet it's turned to really nice blue skies here on this nice November day. I'm student meteorologist Gavin Sandell with your CNET forecast, taking a live look now at Beaver Stadium at about 2.45 p.m. It's sitting at 66 degrees under absolutely beautiful blue skies. 66 degrees is your temperature, but it is 43 degrees as that dew point, which means it is a little bit dry. Make sure to bring out that chapstick if you haven't already when you go out of your house. I want to talk about the weather headlines though. 66 is about 10 degrees warmer than average and we're bringing on the warmth with above average temperatures throughout the entire forecasting period. And with those above average temperatures and a lack of precipitation, I'm going to give you guys a drought update as well. And I'll talk about the whiteout forecast, one of the biggest games in Penn State's map the entire season that comes Saturday at 8 p.m. against Washington. Well, like I said, it's really warm, 66 degrees in State College, 77 down in Philadelphia. They're two degrees shy of a record that was set just two years ago of 79 degrees for a day like today. And really, not just these two cities, but really all across the Commonwealth, we are seeing temperatures above average. And if you zoom out across the entire country, we are seeing generally moderated temperatures throughout the country, unless you head west down to the Rockies, and especially in New Mexico, where when I get to the radar, you'll see a really intriguing snowstorm. So here in Pennsylvania, it is quite above average, 14 officially as of the high temperature right now, 20 degrees above average in Philadelphia, though it does start to go back down a little bit closer to normal, it's still above normal in the northwestern portions. And this really goes through the entire East Coast as you go, not just for Pennsylvania, but the Mid-Atlantic as well. Radar is showing a clear shot like it has the last many days. Actually, Philadelphia, they're in their 40th, 40th is right, day without precipitation that's been measurable. Let's look at the radar across the country, though. And like I said, it is cooler, which means there's actually some snow showers and a big snowstorm with lots of winter storm warnings uh, across the high ranges of Colorado and New Mexico. They're seeing a historic snowstorm for this time of year. But with this dry conditions here, we're not seeing any rain, and this drought tracker that was updated today has included almost the entire state in at least abnormally dry conditions. Severe drought also increased from just Greene County to some of the southwestern counties in the state, something that will probably increase as we go into the week with not a lot of precipitation forecasted. If precipitation won't be there on Friday at least, we'll see some stronger westerly winds, but the other, otherwise it's not really going to be seeing much especially going into Saturday as well. It'll be a clear shot for the day, but we'll start to include some clouds in our whiteout game at 8 p.m. But as we go into the rest of the evening, then it should be a relatively clear shot until we'll see some rain going in on Sunday afternoon. That's our first major rain system that's expected in quite a while. Here's your official whiteout forecast, though, when Penn State plays unranked Washington. The one thing that hasn't changed is the amount of rain that's going to fall, which will be zero. But the one thing that has, ch has changed is the temperatures. It's really trended cooler. It was supposed to be about 60 degrees on Saturday, but now we're seeing temperatures of around 50 to 55 for your forecasted highs. Let's go out in time a little bit. This is the upper air heights, and what this basically tells is where high pressure systems and low pressure systems are, and temperatures as well. And I want to stop here on Wednesday because you could see these really big oranges and yellows are starting to pulsate their way up towards Pennsylvania, which means that's a ridge of high pressure and high temperatures as well, which means we're going to be sticking with the same pattern that we have been for quite a while. And what this means is the six to 10 day temperature outlook for the entire eastern two thirds of the country is in the red. Let's take it back to tonight, though. 39 degrees is your forecast with few clouds, but those winds will stay calm as compared to tomorrow where the winds will kick up just a notch, five to 15 miles an hour with 25 mile an hour gust. And we'll uh, kick it in the high range with 63 degrees as your high temperature with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Let's take a look at your seven-day forecast. Finally, going into the weekend, we'll start to cool down, especially with that high of 51 on Sunday, as we'll usher in some rain. But it'll start to bounce right back up going into Monday. 50s, though, as we go into the rest of the week. And another chance of rain next Thursday. With that, thank you so much. I'm student meteorologist Gavin Sandell.